Okay, let's talk about dark atmospheres. So there's different kinds of dark atmospheres that you can make. Um, off the top of my head, uh, you can create a dark atmosphere with, well, let's say fast dark atmospheres, 1349 dark funeral style, where you get minor chords and move them around. So for example, it's something like... And then that riff can be looped around. Um, so there, what I, well, the trick is, is knowing tense sounding intervals and picking a chord with some tension in it. So I went for this, for this minor chord here. I, I've been over this chord shape in my previous lessons, but if you haven't seen those, uh, I'm starting on an E, which is on the low E here. Well, this is a seven string, so don't count this low B here. So from the E, fret 7, A, fret 7, D, fret 5, and G, fret 4. So you get that E chord. And intervals are gaps between the frets and between the notes. So some really tense sounding intervals are a flat second is where you move either up or down from your first chord. So for example, moving from the seventh fret to the eighth, eighth chord, um, an E minor to an F minor. And you can do that in reverse to E to E flat. And you can join those four chords together to create an evil, fast, dark, atmospheric um, chord progression. Something like that. Another one is moving up minor thirds, which is three frets up or three frets down. That's a really cool one. That's a cool one. You could even, if you've got a seven string. You've got to be careful with, with seven strings because they, it's very easy to make them sound muddy, so you're best off doing a two note power chord, as opposed to a three note one. Maybe, I don't know, um, it's give or take. But, if you, but all I know is that if you try the minor chord versions, You know, it's very easy to make it sound kind of muddy. What would be best is if you had one guitar playing the root notes and the other guitar playing the minor thirds. And then you'll get the... the minor, well, the minor chord sound. Um, another interval that you can use is the flat five or the tritone, which is a distance of six frets. Uh, my bad. There we go. So your E here. Go down to this um, B flat minor. That can also be played here on the 13th fret. So that's cool. You can even do major thirds, which is a distance of four frets. Which sounds, I think that sounds really cool. And again, the execution can be changed as well. Uh, you can just try to pick something up. And of 
course, mix and match them. I would say Google a list of intervals. I might go I might go over this in a, in a future lesson, but Google a list of intervals um, from your root note to the ninth. That's probably best. And then work out the distance of the frets in between all of them. Um, so that's fast, dark atmospheres uh, taken. And then you could slow it down as well by using different, you can use the same chord shapes, but if, let's um, expand on that. So we can take a minor nine chord shape. <laughs> Using that same method with all the intervals, where you can take one chord shape and move it around. Um, so, there's two types of minor nine chord shapes that I'll show you. The first of which is E minor nine, um, E minor add nine, technically. From the A string, seventh fret, then your D string is the ninth fret, your little finger on the eleventh fret of G, middle finger on the eighth fret of B, and your first finger on the seventh fret of the high E. And you can take that same, uh, well, the same chord, but play on uh, with, well, play with your root note on the low E. And this is a C minor at night. So the notes from the E string downwards, eight, ten, twelve, then bar the G, B, and E string with your first finger on the eighth fret as well. And you can join those two chords uh, progression, two chords together. And there, that last chord, I played a B flat add nine, B flat minor add nine. So from the E string. To the high E, from the low E to the high E, the frets are six, eight, ten, six, six, six. And you can even build up tense intervals together uh, to make a chord. Um, so some of the some of the te most tense intervals are the flat seconds and the flat fives, and you can build that to make a chord. So if I, for let's use let's use this low B now and put it to use. So let's say I'm on this. Um, F note here, 6th note on the B, 6th fret on the B, my bad, and then if I have my little finger on the tritone, which is the note of B, so I've got this F note here, and a B, and then the note that's one up from a B, which is a C, you got this really fucking evil. around with loads and loads of intervals and try throwing in open strings because the more experimental you are the cooler things and the more unique sounds you can create um, so let's just piss about here okay so let's take this C note here let's go up a fifth then from this next note up let's do a flat five There, I just played the low B. So if you have a seven string, B string, first fret, E string, third fret, A string, fourth fret. And at the end, you play the open B. And you can even take those concepts and ideas and you could even speed that up like
through all sorts of stuff. So really it's breaking up, it's um, learning all your intervals and learning how to stack them to build chords. That's um, a little bit of shit that you can do for yourselves instead of relying on me all the fucking time.